Okay, so you don't have to follow along in this video. I just kind of want you to start getting the wheels spinning and thinking about other items that we could be looking for when it comes to OSINT. Now, we could look on a website like LinkedIn or like Twitter and find useful information. Now, I was on this website for literally one minute. I've logged in, I went to Tesla, and I've already kind of found something, and I want to show you how fast this is. So you come in here and you go to Tesla, the company, the company page here, and I love to click on images. There's always employee photos on images. Now you scroll down a little bit and you can see somebody has recently posted a picture of their internship at Tesla. And what we can do is click on the picture and look for things like badge photos or desk pictures or anything of the sorts. Now, good employees are told to hide their badges from pictures and you can see they've done a pretty good job. But if you look down here, right down here, it's hard to zoom in, but there is 100% a badge there. Is this a great picture? No, but this is a good example of an easy way to find a badge is utilizing social media and you can find a lot of stuff very, very, very quickly. So another thing to point out too is that Twitter is a gold mine for these kinds of things. I have found badge pictures, desk pictures, software, all kinds of stuff via Twitter and via LinkedIn. Now, from the non-physical perspective or information gathering perspective for what seems like physical assessments, the other thing to point out is that it's really good to find the people like LinkedIn's great. So we can come in here and we can find members, right? And these are all going to say LinkedIn members. I don't have this account is just kind of my my peeping account that I just utilize when I want to look and not trigger anything weird uh, when I'm looking at a company, because if somebody sees me as a person looking at a company, they might say, why is this guy looking at my profile? So. We might not get names if you don't have the premium on some of these. You might see LinkedIn member, but you can also dig some names like here's a name, here's a name, here's a name. And you take those names and you remember the formatting from before, right? We had the formatting when we looked at hunter.io and we said, okay, first initial last name. Well, I might take a first initial last name here and I'll add that to my list. Now we could utilize scrapers out there to look through the employee list and pull down all the the names and then transfer those names into first initial last name you could write a script to do that with python if you want to challenge yourself to do that i guarantee you there are tools out there to do this but this is the kind of information that we're after we're after what kind of credentials can we gather and this loops all back this is the 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 wheel spinning here right you want email addresses. We're, when we're talking network and we're talking what you're going to be doing with these kind of assessments, you want these email addresses. You want anything that's been a part of a breach current credential leak, right? And you just want as much information on the employees as you can gather. When you take all these email addresses and it says something, it says 34,000 employees. When you take 34,000 employees, I would almost bet money on it that one of these employees has a password of something like fall 2019 or winter 2019 exclamation or something like Tesla 1234 exclamation. People are always the weakest point of an organization and people will be lazy with their passwords unless you absolutely force them to use long passwords. I do not know Tesla's password policy, but I get in almost every external assessment with a weak password like fall 2019 or winter 2019. So I want you to think about these things. We're not gonna go too depth into social media, but have that in your wheelhouse as well. We're just trying to utilize as much resources that are out there in order to use them for our advantage. So there's a lot of tools that I've shown you and I've given you a lot of the basics and really that's all you need for information gathering. Google is your best friend. Utilize Google to your full advantage utilize social media. People post things all the time that they shouldn't be posting and just dig deep. Information gathering is one of the most important steps along with scanning and enumeration. Keep repeating that to yourself and you'll be very, very successful as a penetration tester. So that is it for this section. I kind of just wanted to give a brief overview of this 
and then give you some ideas to get your, your wheel spinning and really think about it. Again, we're harping on breach credentials mainly. So from here, we're gonna move into scanning and enumeration. We're gonna start doing our hacking, getting into the real weeds of hacking. And I'm very, very excited about that. And you're gonna see some of the stuff that you've seen before when it comes to reconnaissance pop back up. So I'm excited to, to see this play out through the course and how we're gonna utilize it. So that's it for this section. I look forward to seeing you in the scanning enumeration section. So I will catch you over there.